come on the ditch in here. Yeah, just coming up. Get behind his shoulder. And we start to walk. I'm here with my cousin, young people, Ashley. And he's going to help me demonstrate this thing. Yeah, so this here is not a street move for a change. This is actually for a, it's a valley judo move, which can also be applied in MMA, depending on the rules, but it should be pretty much all right. But ultimately, what ends up happening is you get a choke on them. And at the same time you get a choke on them, you've got the shoulder locked and the wrist locked. So that's pretty much game over. All right, guys, so from here, what we're gonna be working from directly is the clinch. Whichever way you've entered into the clinch, it's here or there. All right, so we're starting off from here, this clinch position. What we're gonna be doing is ultimately putting some knees in, bearing in mind that this is a sport technique. I'm not gonna be whacking my forearms with his neck and doing certain stuff like that. So what I am gonna be just holding, clinch it back, and I'm gonna get this underhook here. In catch wrestling, they call this a half hatch position. So all I'm gonna do, I get this arm underhooked here, I plant my elbow tight to my uh, body, and I put my hand where the board spot would be. From there now, very simple. I'm gonna work a figure four, and I'm going up making sure that I'm not just staying on the wrist, I'm working up and getting into the uh, edge of the hand itself there also. From here, perfectly legal in MMA, whack a couple of knees into the body. I'm gonna put my leg in between if this was a street situation, bam, obviously that's going directly up there. From this position now, I'm gonna sit down, place my leg between his legs, not striking it in a sport. So I get to there, sit down, and I flip it over. From that position, very simple, from here, my right leg in this position goes underneath, my left leg in this position goes across, and now I'm gonna to start to squeeze. That by itself is doing damage, that's beginning to make him tap out. So from there, that's all that well and good. But I'm simply gonna roll up to here now, bring the arm behind him, so I'm getting the shoulder lock, and I'm also getting the wrist lock going on. One more time to see that again. Let's do it from this side. So we start in a clinch position here. From the clinch position, I'm working the knees, get the underhook, get to here, smack him again with the knee, place your leg in between his legs, sit down and roll. From here, scissors on the leg, on the head, uh, neck. To get up, get that lock on, and I'm pulling it up the side. There you go. So you've got the options here. From here, if his hand's slipping out of the way, you can just manipulate to there and go for the wrist, depending on the MMA rules that you have. If not, you can just pull back like so. Alright? Furthermore, don't forget, you come round, you can just see my leg position in here. From here. Closing my legs off and I'm squeezing my hips together. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to tap one more time. Let's see that speed. <coughs> so, go from an elbow tight position. Right, so from here. Security, we separate them without, without hindering one of them. Because a big problem is you could be holding one person and the other person still hitting them. Yes, we don't want to be responsible for that because that's like um, party to an assault. I've just put myself in a legal problem. So what, what I do, which is very quick, and I'm not, the, the SIA, they don't like anything around the neck. Or on, and they don't like you pressing down on the diaphragm, yeah? Uh, because a lot of people have died from positional asphyxiation, which is a big problem. 
So I'll never have a man front down and I never have him on his back. I always have him on his side. There's, there's room to breathe. He can talk, if he can talk to me, I know he's all right. Um, yeah, so what I do, if two people are fighting now, so these two are fighting over here, for the demonstration, I'm gonna go on this side, yeah? So I'm gonna come in, come into here, I get an underhook here, and I get just on top of the head here. From here, a nice subtle knee strike to the back of the fire, just above the knee, takes him down. Immediately, I have that lock again. I'm looking around, left and right, who's next, so on and so forth. If I wanna pick him up, what I do is I make sure, always in here first, bring my forearm over. If I, if I don't, if I just try to like, somehow grab, back at me, back at me, yeah, anything. All right, so I'll make sure I bring that in first, get onto here. Now I'll say, all right, I'm gonna get you up now, mate. I'm gonna get you up now, figure four. Up he goes. I just hold it from here. Now I replace the figure four with my left hand on the elbow and this hand here. There you go. Just hold it there. And to ensure that I don't get head butted, I top my head off at the angle, just behind his rear deltoid. Just there. And we start to walk. I can transition from here into many other locks. From there, slide my arm in, get to here. There's a half hatch position from catch wrestling. So I could transition into many things. All right, so one more time, just looking at the, uh, the escape, just beat up the air. Okay, we do it from this side now. I come over, bang, I'm into here, underhook, I'm into here. Now I'm gonna knee strike, down he goes. I place my knee now on his, on his jawline, this knee on his rib cage, and I'm bending back now. Looking left, looking right. Yeah? If I make sure the arm is like this, then I've got the arm bar here. He can't tap because his arm's trapped. So just be very careful there, right? From here, bang, bang, into here. If I get a bit, if he's very strong and, he, and he's resisting this, just get my choking bone, which is right here, and I chop inside there. I have the lock in. From this point here, where his elbow is in my stomach, I have, I have a lock there too. Yeah, I come under, get to here. Yeah, he's coming up. Get behind his shoulder, and we start to walk. Yeah, so if two people are fighting, and I have a colleague, one side. <laughs> Stuart, do you want to uh, get one guy? And I'll get the other guy. So these two are fighting. I'm gonna come in here, boom, on the hook. Now this hand's not punching, boom. Down he goes. Start communicating. We're looking around, who else? And we've both got him. <laughs> I wanted to give a signal as well. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oof. 